Hey everybody, a uh, quick review here of the Asus uh, VivoBook uh, before I return it. Uh, I got this computer, uh, I thought I would keep it and replace my Acer Aspire uh, 1756. Um, mainly expecting to get a better battery life. Um, after all the testing and you know playing with the computer all these days, uh, the performance of the Asus versus the Acer, it's not that different. It's almost all the same. And uh, the battery life, it's also not that great. Uh, I was only able to get about uh, four hours uh, using a really heavy, uh, doing YouTube, uh, browsing the web and all that and, you know, I paid about $535 for, for the Asus versus the Acer right now it's going for $249 you know it, there's no way I'm gonna pay an extra $300 for $350 for only gaining an extra hour of battery uh, I think if you use a machine in the power saving mode and you know it's not like a heavy usage you might be able to get about five five and a half maybe six hours uh but other than that um i wasn't that impressed with the with the battery life the performance of the machine is is pretty good though it has really good graphics um a really nice uh screen nice resolution nice keyboard uh the computer is actually really light really thin as you can see from the side on this side it has a slot for the SD card uh, it has a dual mic and headphone jack it has a one, one uh, 2.0 USB port and the VGA port on the front of the computer there is nothing going on just uh, the bottom here some uh, LED indicators uh, let me show you on the other side so on the other side we have uh, the Ethernet port uh, the charger the port for the charger uh, HDMI the 3.0 USB port another 2.0 USB port and the, the lock on the back of the computer there's nothing going on uh, another thing that I'm not a big fan of this uh, Asus computer it's that as you can see on the back uh, and actually the guy at the store told me uh, this machine is actually exp it came with 4 gig of RAM it's expandable to 8 uh, same thing with the Acer the, I, the, on the Acer I have right now 8 uh, but the Acer is so easy to access this machine I don't know if it's possible to access it if and if it is unless you have the skills or not you might need to take it to a store or something like that but the, 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 you don't get access to you don't see the battery basically you have to take it off the whole back panel to access everything so you know I don't think it's the the end of the of the war you know it's not the worst but I, I think it's gonna be a little bit of work so that's one thing that I don't like uh, other than that, let me compare these uh, scores right here. So the Asus got 379. As you can see there. And the, Ace, the Acer got 347. Um, so it's not that big of a difference. Um, and when you look at the prices between uh, the, the, these two machines, I mean, you know, it's about, like I said, $300, $350 difference. Uh, in terms of performance, it's almost about the same. Almost about the same. Uh, let's do a restart on both machines and see if we, uh, which one uh, comes up uh, first. Let's see. Actually, let's. Yeah, let's do a restart. And it's gonna be hard to do it with one hand because I'm not, uh, I'm holding the camera, but let's see. Uh, 
see I'm still trying to figure it out Windows 8 and it doesn't I don't know where do you get the option to restart sorry guys probably I won't be able to restart because I don't know how to do it but let's open browsers and uh, show oh, look at how uh, fast the the Acer works so let me open things so look at that look at that that's Explorer let's open the Explorer on the Asus 2 Let's go to uh, there's this uh, website that I checked that is really really heavy and as you can see loads the website really really quick zoom in and out really fast nice to access some galleries there boom right there page is already displayed go back with the touch access something else quick right away let's see with the Acer quick the Acer is quick too. Uh, it's open a gallery. See, right away. Let's go back. Try a different gallery. Uh, let's see. It's really quick. Let's open YouTube. like I told you both machines work almost the same I mean you might not even notice the difference between one or the other uh, as far as the performance let's open some uh, 1080p video uh, let's see this, maybe this one right here one thing I can tell you is that the speakers on the Acer are the worst the speakers on the Asus are really really good they have a really good quality really good sound this whole thing from this corner to this corner right here is a speaker and it sounds really good though. so here's the video that's a 1080p video it has no problem at all loads the videos really quick but it's the same thing with the with the Acer let's see if we can open one here that's a 720 but still you know Let me see if I can find something else or maybe find the same video. You know what? Let's open the Mozilla. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna play the same video for you and uh, on both computers you here 
Here's this one. Let's uh, make a big screen. I think the ASUS has v better viewing angles than the Acer, but they are both 720 or high definition uh, screen. Same. Now I'm gonna turn all the volume all the way on the Acer just to compare the the quality. So that's all the way up on the Acer, as you can see right there. It's all the way. Now, look at the, the volume on the, let's mute this one, look at the volume on the, on the Asus. You know what guys, let's do a stress test. Let's open several videos at the same time. So let's open this one. That's also high definition and it's 1080. Let's open a third video. Let's do this one. Road, the That's also high definition. That's three videos playing at the same time. One, two, three. Let's do the same thing here with the Acer. That's high definition. Let's open another one. So both computers are playing three videos on high definition at the same time right now. There's that, there is that, there is that, if I want to do some browsing, quick. Maybe I can't even play uh, open Hulu. See, the Asus right now is struggling, it's kind of buffering, but it's playing three videos at the same time, too. So, this one already open in Hulu. Um, anyways, guys, I don't want to make the video too long, but you know, like I said, in my opinion. Uh, right now, the Acer Aspire 1756 is the best that you can buy for the money. I'm not saying it's the best computer, but the best for the money. For $250, $275, you can get a really good computer, good performance. The only thing is the battery life. Hopefully, they're going to make an extended battery. This computer is really nice, really light, beautiful computer construction. The only thing is that the battery is not that good. Uh, it comes with Windows 8, 
and it's a touch screen so that's all I have for right now I hope it helps and thank you for watching them